Adobe has recently unveiled its revolutionary AI tool for Photoshop, and it has taken everyone by surprise. The release of this AI tool has amazed people because it arrived earlier than expected, and the outcomes it has produced have been astonishing. The unexpected launch of Adobe Firefly, which was not anticipated to be out of beta yet, has left everyone shocked due to its exceptional performance and remarkable output quality. In this online tutorial, I will demonstrate what this tool is, how to access it, and why it is such a groundbreaking development. Meet Photoshop and Adobe Firefly. The tool we are examining is known as Generative Fill, which enables you to create various elements using a text prompt. What sets this tool apart is its ability to merge images using advanced AI techniques. Its proficiency is truly impressive, allowing you to not only modify backgrounds, but also add reflections. This is not your ordinary AI tool. It seamlessly integrates its capabilities to produce stunning visual imagery. For instance, it can expand an image by utilizing generative AI to incorporate reflections on a frozen lake. Furthermore, it can generate breathtaking northern lights and seamlessly blend them into a captivating landscape. This tool's significance lies in its integration with Photoshop, which has long been the go-to software for image manipulation. By streamlining and accelerating the image editing process, it is poised to save users a considerable amount of time. Now, let's delve into how to access and utilize this powerful tool. Firstly, upon opening Photoshop, you will notice a new edition called the Photoshop Beta. You will be prompted to download it, and once installed, you can begin utilizing its features. In case you don't see the Photoshop Beta, navigate to your Creative Cloud and locate the Beta Apps section in the bottom left corner. There, you will find a distinct Photoshop icon. Simply download the beta version. Once the beta is successfully downloaded, you will find the Try Now option, allowing you to enter Photoshop. From there, you can utilize the Object Selection tool. Let's switch to the desktop view to demonstrate how this tool works. It is important to clarify that many individuals are comparing this tool to Photoshop's previous content-aware feature, although they are not the same. To avoid confusion, let's explore the Content-Aware tool first. On the left-hand side, you will find a rectangular marquee tool marked by a jagged box. This is where the Generative Fill option appears. Right-clicking will present two options, Content-Aware Fill and Generative Fill. However, it is the Generative Fill that truly shines, which explains why people are raving about this remarkable tool. Let's observe the disparity between the two by using the Content-Aware Fill first. By applying the Content-Aware Fill, the tool employs the original content to fill the selected area, as demonstrated here. However, the results may not be visually pleasing in certain instances. Now, let's repeat the selection process and opt for the AI-powered Generative Fill. Upon clicking, we will choose to generate without inputting any specific content. The overlapping is necessary to provide the data needed for expansion. Although I should have introduced more data, let's see how it performs. It is crucial to note that a stable internet connection is required to access this tool. Unfortunately, in this instance, the generative fill did not entirely cover the designated area. Let's attempt it once more. As seen, this generative AI tool is truly extraordinary. The image used here was obtained from Midjourney, known for its 1080 by 1080 pixel dimensions suitable for Instagram. However, if you forget to utilize the appropriate prompt to obtain an image of the desired dimensions, you can rely on Photoshop and its specific tool to expand the image effortlessly. This capability is particularly remarkable, as the content-aware tool merely relied on patterns to extend the image without truly understanding its content. With AI, on the other hand, the tool comprehends the image's intricacies, resulting in a clear and accurate representation. As illustrated, it swiftly expands the image, showcasing its efficiency. Expanding images is just one of the many possibilities with this tool. You can incorporate various elements into your creations. For instance, let's try adding a bear in the water. By simply selecting the bear option and clicking generate, we can witness the tool's ability to generate a bear seamlessly. I have no doubt that it will deliver the desired outcome. 
Because I have experimented with various images, I believe I have discovered an effective method to achieve smooth results. Here you can observe how it incorporates a bear into the image, which appears quite impressive. However, I must admit that Adobe's image generation capabilities are not flawless when it comes to people and animals. Nevertheless, it excels at generating stationary objects such as anchors, benches, and chairs. In essence, Adobe's strength lies in AI art privacy rules. Although these images may not be as exceptional as Midjourney's originals, Adobe software continues to improve over time. If your goal is to create something visually appealing, this tool is certainly useful. If you're dissatisfied with the outcome, you can simply click the Regenerate button to explore different variations. I might not be fond of this particular version and considering the difficulty of rendering a bear, I will click Regenerate to see the new results. So far, Photoshop seems to struggle with certain aspects, but for artistic purposes, it remains highly effective. Now let me expand the entire image to show you the final result. After some adjustments, this is what the expanded image looks like. As you can see, I seamlessly integrated the additional elements, and it appears quite realistic. Only a keen eye might notice a slight misalignment in the house, but it's challenging to detect for the untrained observer. This demonstrates the potential use of this tool. Now, let me share some fascinating tips and tricks on how to build an image with minimal elements. Here's an image I generated in just a few seconds using Midjourney. However, I'll show you how quickly you can modify it. Another feature of this generative AI tool is the ability to remove objects. By using generative fill and typing remove, I effortlessly eliminated the poster on the left wall. This functionality is easily accessible, and even those unfamiliar with Photoshop's content-aware fill can achieve similar results. Trust me, there are instances where this method doesn't work well, but in this case, it's effective due to the clean image. Let me demonstrate another example. I'll remove all the remaining objects. Now let's add some plants on both sides. I'll select the area and use generative fill to place a plant pot with realistic reflections. It even reflects on the floor, which is quite impressive. Additionally, I'll merge the layers and add white flowers using generative fill again. As you can see, I've successfully incorporated the desired elements on the left side as well. Flowers and the remarkable aspect that often goes unnoticed is the ability to magnify their intricate details. Even if you were to capture an image, paste it into Photoshop and consider it an ordinary task. You must understand that achieving flawless shadows requires considerable time and skill. Novices cannot accomplish this feat easily. Obtaining a meticulously cropped image with perfectly executed shadows demands extensive dedication. It involves meticulous adjustments to match the lighting in different areas. This revolutionary development will significantly impact the industry as more people embrace its possibilities. Another fascinating aspect is the capability to completely transform the composition of an image. Initially, we started with a McLaren and some posters, but now we have eliminated those elements. Let's proceed by changing the background to an open sky. Notice that we have added a door, providing a fresh perspective. Admittedly, the top of the car appears slightly distorted, but this is the nature of Photoshop. Alternatively, you can select the image and modify the background without altering the entire structure. Although my approach may not have been flawless, there are alternative techniques available. For instance, you can select the subject and make adjustments accordingly. Now that we have our McLaren in this image, we can further embellish it. I recently came across an intriguing idea online where someone added a rug beneath their car, and I found it quite appealing. In this case, we can consider placing a black rug. As you can see, we have successfully incorporated the rug beneath the car. It's worth mentioning that the plants were not cropped, so their interpretation within the image is open to the software's discretion. Now I'm curious to know how you plan to utilize this feature. Do you believe it will revolutionize the field? As a regular Photoshop user, I genuinely think this tool will become ubiquitous, saving a significant amount of time for the majority, if not all, of users. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. This breakthrough, especially in terms of seamless shadow integration, holds tremendous potential.
If you have any questions about Adobe Firefly, feel free to leave a comment. We will read them all. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to motivate us to provide more content. Until our next AI update, take care.